If you're anything like me, you have watched a lot of videos and read a lot of guides on how to grow your Twitch stream and get more people in there. And a lot of the people say the same thing. And that is that you need to be making content outside of Twitch, that the Twitch discoverability is not quite there just yet. And so you need to be sharing your Twitch on your Twitter, on your Instagram, TikTok, and of course, YouTube. But then the advice stops from there. I find that a lot of the creators who share that advice don't then provide any steps on how to actually do that, which is totally fine. But I wanna fill that gap for you guys. So hey guys, how's it hanging everybody? This is Storm Pow, and I have quite a bit of experience in the gaming world as far as content creation and YouTube and video editing goes. Um, ever since the early 2010s, I used to have an old YouTube channel where I did all kinds of different things. And so I took a little bit of a break and now I'm here to share some things that I know. So please be sure to subscribe for more videos relating to this and everything else. And also be sure to check out my Twitch live stream as well. Links for all that will be down below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying it and if it's helpful to you. But also be sure to let me know if there's any other topics that you would like for me to cover in a future video by leaving me a comment down below. I will be happy to answer your question in a comment if it's simple enough or if it requires an entire video to be made, then so be it. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in. We're gonna go ahead and check out my Twitch stream right here. So right now I'm obviously offline, but we can go over to my videos page right here and it's gonna show all of my recent broadcasts. So first for this, you do have to have that set in your Twitch to store your broadcast. So I am very sorry, but if you have done a previous broadcast and you did not have it enabled, then you are a little bit SOL right now. But I will show you just real quick on how to go ahead and turn that on. I won't spend a lot of time on this since I'm assuming that most people already know how to do this, but go ahead and click on your name up there at the top right and go over to settings. And then you're gonna wanna go over to channel and videos. And you're just gonna wanna make sure that store past broadcasts is checked. So this is up to 14 days for affiliates, 60 days for partners and turbo and prime users. So anyway, once you've got that turned on and you've gone ahead and done a new live stream, you wanna go ahead and download it. So there's a couple of reasons why you may wanna do this. You may want to share a clip from that stream on Twitter or Instagram. You may wanna upload the entire VOD straight to YouTube on a VOD channel like I do, since, you know, like we said, it does have a limited amount of time that it will store these broadcasts for. So sometimes people want to have an archive for them like I do. I have a YouTube channel specifically for my Twitch VODs. I don't clutter this main channel up with it, but I've got that just for that purpose. Or you may want to mash up, make some highlights and, you know, cut a four and a half hour stream into a 10, 15 minute YouTube video as well. And now a lot of streaming programs such as Streamlabs and OBS, they do have the functionality to record your stream while you're streaming it. But if you're anything like me, there are a couple of reasons why you don't necessarily want to do that. Now for one, my PC is not incredibly powerful. So I don't necessarily have a great time when I'm trying to stream game on a PC game and record it all in 1080 at the exact same time. So what I decided was that what I would rather do is stream in a higher quality so that way I'm not recording at all while I'm streaming instead of lowering the quality so that way I could stream it and record it and play it at the same time if that makes any sense. So if you're anything like me and maybe your PC is not a $3,000 beast, you wanna be able to play the game and stream it in a very high quality and then just go and download the VOD later. And furthermore, you may not necessarily want to automatically record every single broadcast that you ever do. I mean, maybe there's only certain ones that you may wanna do and so you don't wanna waste the hard drive space or you may not have the hard drive space to always do that every single time that you stream. So either way, this is for you guys who need to get things after the fact. So we're gonna go ahead and actually download this Stardew Valley stream right here that I did recently. And the reason why I wanted to do that one is because we actually had a period of just chatting at the beginning. So let's see here. So we're watching the Travis Scott Fortnite video. Look, I do what you guys tell me to do, okay? Somebody asked me to watch it. And so we're doing a lot of other things and then we jump into the actual game over here. So, hold up. let me go ahead and mute that. We don't wanna to listen to this man's annoying freaking face. And so we're gonna to wanna to download this program called Twitch Leecher. And I've got it linked down in the description below, of course. So feel free to go there. This was made by a guy named Freniac, Mr. Dominique Rabitzer. And he has made this fine free program that I use all the time for my Twitch VODs. 
So we're gonna wanna go ahead and scroll down here to the bottom. You can go ahead and download the program right here. Look, I'm not gonna walk you guys through exactly how to download and install a program. I'm assuming we're all big boys and girls and we know how to do that. So on the main page of Twitch Leecher, we are actually going to go ahead and see this page where we can go and type in any kind of channel that we want. And so right here, we're gonna type in my channel name. And now if you only have one or maybe even just two Twitch channels, then you can actually go into the settings here and you can set your favorite channels. So for example, I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna add the Storm Pow as a favorite YouTube channel. So we're gonna go ahead and save those changes. Then let's go back to the search. Let's go ahead and do a new search right here. And we've got the storm power is something that I can select really quickly. That way I don't have to do this every single time. Now we can change the date range for the VODs. So it's gonna go ahead and select today's date right here, but we can also go ahead and change this. So let's just say I wanna view all my VODs from the month of April, or of course we can also set it to just show me the last 10 VODs. And of course we can customize that number. Just show me all the VODs from today or whatever the case may be. We can also change it to only show highlights, which that's of course when you go on your Twitch and you manually cut and trim one of your live streams right there in Twitch using their video producer feature. But we're not really doing all that. We're just gonna wanna look at the broadcast itself right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And we've got all my past broadcasts. So we're gonna go ahead and download that Stardew Valley one right here. You can actually change the resolution right here. And this will show any of the resolutions that were available on your Twitch stream. So for example, since I streamed in 1080, we can download it in 1080. But if I had only been streaming in 720, we obviously can't download it in 1080p. So we can download it in that high resolution if we'd like, or we can download it in a lower resolution. If you don't need 1080, you're just gonna make a quick little clip for TikTok or for Twitter. You don't necessarily need an entire four and a half hour 1080p broadcast. So whatever the case may be, we're gonna go ahead and download it here at 72060, just for the purposes of this example. And we can also change the directory in which we want this file to go. And you can also change the custom file name, which this is really useful for me because a lot of my streams do start with just chatting and I wanna be able to know what stream I'm actually downloading. So we're gonna check that so that way we can change the name here and we can instead change this to Stardew One or something to that effect. And now here is the really useful part. We can also change the start and the end of the video by checking these boxes. If you leave it unchecked, it's just gonna download the entire VOD, which may be fine for you. But if you're like me, and like I said, you do some just chatting at the beginning of the stream, or maybe you have a long slide at the beginning where it's just music and the whole stream starting soon page, then that's fine too. But you may not want that in your final VOD or you don't care to download that. So we're gonna find the part where I actually start the playthrough. And let's just say it's around 19 minutes, 29 seconds. So for the purposes of this, we're gonna go back into Twitch Leecher, and then we are going to go ahead and change that to 00, 19, we're gonna hit tab, 29. And now we wanna find where we wanna end the stream because again, if you're like me, a lot of times you may have some filler at the end. You may kind of chit chat with the audience and just let them know about your plans for the rest of your week's content and stuff like that. So you may not want that in the VOD. So let's just go ahead and say that it ends right around here at 024728. So we're gonna go back in here, 0247, hit tab, 28. And then once we've got all that done, we can go ahead and select download and it looks like I've already done that. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and overwrite that just real quick and it's gonna add the download up there. So let's go ahead and click the download tab and you can watch the status of your download. So it's gonna go ahead and download and then once it's done, it will go ahead and convert it and then that file will be right there in your videos folder. So that way you can either upload the VOD straight to YouTube like I do on a VOD channel. You can go and edit small little clips of it for your social media. You can make a highlight reel for your social media or for your YouTube or whatever the case may be. So we're gonna go ahead and actually cancel this download just since I don't need this VOD. I've actually already uploaded it on my YouTube. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now I will show you another way that I personally also like to download my VODs. So you can also go back to the search and hit new search. And one of the easier ways, especially if you're only downloading one particular VOD, you don't necessarily need to download all of them. You can just go up to the VOD that you wanna download, copy that URL up there, and then paste that right in here and then hit search and it will bring you exactly to that clip. So that to me is a lot easier than filling out that form and everything like that personally. That's the way that I do it right there. And there you go. 
now you've got the video on your computer, you can go ahead and edit it, do whatever you need to do. Now, let's say that you don't need to edit the video or anything like that. You literally just need to throw that bastard on YouTube real quick. And there's also a way to do that that might be just a little bit easier or if nothing else, a little bit faster. So you can actually do this directly in Twitch. You can go over here and go to the video producer page after you click on your name up at the top right. And you'll see all of your recent VODs, highlights and things like that. Now you can find a VOD that you wanna download. So let's say we wanted to download this VOD of my podcast where we had Rhyme Style on. We could go over here and click this and go ahead and click download. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna say preparing for a long, 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 long time. And then eventually, sometimes when the feature decides to work, you can come back to it. So for example, I had already prepared this download here for um, my bully stream and we can go over here and click download. And then usually it'll actually go ahead and open up your file browser. You can decide where you wanna download it. Now, the only thing is, is it saves it as a VLC file, which is not very good if you wanna just upload that directly to YouTube because YouTube traditionally prefers things like MP4, MOV and things like that. Um, and also a lot of your programs may not necessarily like VLC as an editing software or editing program either. So overall, not the most intuitive feature since that's the only file format that we can choose. We can't download it as an MO MOV or an MP4 or anything like that. So I normally just avoid this feature, but it does exist. And if you are not in that um, facet of people that VLC doesn't matter to you, go ahead and, and use that. Feel free to do it. You can also go over here and go to export. And what it will also do is it will go ahead and export it directly to your YouTube channel. Now, in between what you just saw here, you'll see the part where you actually sign in and allow access to your Google account and everything like that for Twitch, but you can actually export the video directly to YouTube. You can change the title to whatever you would like for it to do. And you can add a description and you can add tags. And you can go ahead and make that video public, private, whatever you'd like. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of this feature just because you can't add a custom thumbnail through it. You can't schedule the upload. You can't really do anything in particular. You can't add it to your playlist for your playthrough or anything like that. Personally, I'm a big fan of just uploading directly through YouTube, but hey, if none of that matters to you, then feel free to go ahead and do this. You can upload it as private initially, and then you can go back and make it public once you've made those changes. But ultimately, a lot of times we just wanna go ahead and have it set up, ready to go, and schedule that bad boy so that way it's ready to go on YouTube immediately. So personally, again, I'm not a big fan of this feature, but hey, if none of those bother you, then feel free to do that directly in there. That way you don't have to download a program. But Twitch Leecher, in my opinion, makes it very easy to do and it's free. So why not just go ahead and make it a little bit easier on yourself and add a couple more functionalities to yourself to where you can go ahead and edit, make some nice clips, make some nice highlight reels, do whatever you want and grow your stream. So anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I'm glad we were able to show you how to go ahead and download your Twitch VODs so that way you can use them in other videos. And also keep in mind, you can do this for anybody's VODs that you've got the URL to. You can go ahead and put in anybody's name in there. So if maybe you edit for a streamer or maybe you wanna make funny clips just for the heck of it of somebody else's stream, feel free to use this feature to do the exact same stuff on there. But as always, guys, please be sure to like this video if you did enjoy it and be sure to subscribe for more content. And also leave me a comment letting me know what other tutorials you would like to see or some other things that you would like to know as far as how to grow your stream, how to grow your content, how to edit your videos that you've made. Because like I said, there are tons of videos out there that will show you how to market your content and how to you know, be a good streamer, how to develop a good stream. But I feel like there's not enough content out there that specifically shows how to actually edit the videos how to actually create the content for your social media platform. So I plan on making a lot of other videos and I hope that you guys are here to stick around for that. But anyway, guys, I do wanna thank you all for watching. I hope you have a nice day and goodbye.